Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to join cell values with three separate functions. One is the concatenate function, the other is the concat function, and the last one is the text join function. Now the concat function is a older function. It is available for most versions of Excel um, that are Excel 2010 or greater. The concat function is actually a newer function and it's meant to replace the concatenate function so it's available in Excel 2019 or greater or if you have Office 365. The text join function is another function that is available on Excel 2019 and Office 365. So if you have versions that are older than 2019 or you don't have Office 365 you're better off with the concatenate function. So let's see what the concatenate function does. Basically, what it does is you want to join things together. So we use concatenate. And let's say we want to join the first name and last name. We would select the first name and then comma. Let's put it uh, put a space in between. We'll put that in quotes, double quotes, and then join the last name. Close parentheses, press enter. And now you have the first name, last name that is joined together, right? You can do the same for the concat function, equals concat, and the text you want, let's say it's this text, comma, and open quotes, close quotes, or double quotes, and then select the last name, close parentheses, press enter, and it will join those values together. Now, another thing that you can do, let's delete this. Let's spend a little time with the concat function. Let's say that we want to join everything together here. Now that'd be kind of silly, but it does enable you to do that. So if we type concat and we wanted to join all this together, all these fields together, it lets you do that. Close parentheses. And it really doesn't give you too much useful information, but it lets you do that in case you have something you did want to join all together, like maybe numbers, one, two, three, four, five. The concat function does let you do that, but it doesn't let you join it as a range. Let me show you what I mean. So if I try to select all this together, close parentheses, it's going to give me an error. And the way that we can do this using the concatenate function is do concatenate, oops, concatenate, and press the control key, select that cell, then select that cell, and then select that cell close parentheses, whoops, not zero, close parentheses, press enter, and it's going to do the same thing, right? Now, that doesn't really give us too much usefulness, and that's why we get to the text join function. Let's say you've got a bunch of these email addresses. You want to combine them together and not have them smushed in together, but have a delimiter, meaning that maybe there's a comma that separates it or a semicolon, and that's what the text join function does. I type equal text join and select my delimiter. What I'm going to use, I'm going to use the comma for my delimiter. So I type comma, space, close quotes, and then I'm going to ignore empty cells. There's no empty cells here, but I'll just choose the default empty cells, comma, and then my text. So I can just select all of this, close parentheses, press enter. Now you notice it's put everything together and it's separated by a comma. You see that we have a comma space, comma space here. Now you, you might think, well, if I don't have text join because I don't have Office 365 or I don't have the Excel 2019, I can't do it with the concatenate or the concat function. Well, you could. Well, if you had the concat function, you wouldn't really need that to do this because you had the text join. But if you didn't have those versions of Excel, you can actually still do it with the concat function, concatenate function. Let's see how we can do that. First, I'm going to select this cell, and it brings back that cell. And the next thing I'm going to do is select concatenate and concatenate this cell, comma, space, put that in double quotes, and the cell above, which is F2. I'll just type in F2. Close parentheses, press enter. And you not, now you notice that it's taking that cell. I'm going to make this a little bit wider so you can see that. So you can see that it has added 
a comma there. Now, it hasn't added it for all because we need to get the rest of this data down here. What you can do is just drag the fill handle down and it's going to copy the formula down. And now we have our list of email addresses that are separated by commas. And this is the other way that we can do it with the concatenate function if you don't have the text join function there. So there's a different ways that we can join values in cells using the different functions. The concat function or the text join function if you have Excel 365 or Excel 2019. If you don't have those versions, you can use the older function called concatenate. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.